Hello, everyone. Hi, I am Heather Hemmons. And I am Sir Darius Blaine. We are so excited for all of you to see our new original movie, Caribbean Summer of Summer Nights. We have a couple of questions that Hallmark sent our way that we'll be answering. So let's get right into it. Let's get started. The first question is, in Caribbean Summer, I play Jade, who, after a breakup, takes a vacation. And on her very first night, she meets Ford, played by Sir Darius, without giving too much away. Can we share more about how our, our characters come into each other's lives? <laughs> Rapidly, uh, all of a sudden, I'll say, unwanted house guests sometimes find a way to pop into your life and uh, <laughs> make your home theirs. <laughs> yes, I'll agree with that. It is very much by accident, but it's a very meet cute situation. Once the story goes on, you're like, oh, okay, that's actually really romantic. Mm -hmm. uh, next question is Ford offers to share his home with Jade after the mix up with her vacation rental and they both start to let their guards down what are each of our favorite qualities about our characters hmm Have well I'll I'll say I like I like Jade's persistence you know she's she's committed to who she is she's committed to her work and when she has to take a forced vacation She's committed to her vacation. Now, she's not the best at relaxing, but I like her determination to get there. And uh, she has to work really hard at it, but Ford helps her out a bit. Um, I like that. Yeah, I agree. I say I like Ford's fairness because even though it's an uncomfortable situation and, um, you know, he's a bit territorial and protective of his space, um, he's still fair in the moment and realizes that this woman has been duped and decides to kind of extend an olive branch and still you know help her out so i like that he's a he's a he's a fair guy it's my favorite quality about him a gentleman some might say there i we agree go. There we go. <laughs> all right our next uh, question is while jade gets a tour of the caribbean island from ford he teaches her to live in the moment and the importance of a work-life balance why do you think viewers were co will connect with this storyline um, I'm going to say work-life balance has kind of been the theme of the past few years for us. I think everybody's just trying to have a higher quality of life. And with Jade, it wasn't really a choice. It was forced upon her. But she's going to really ease into that. And I think that's something that we're all just finding now. And if you haven't found your own zen and work-life balance, you're going to live vicariously through this movie. And it's gonna it's gonna inspire you to take that trip, take that vacation, and relax a little bit. Most definitely, I'm gonna piggyback on that. You know, the last two years we've we've dealt with you know this worldwide crisis that's changed all of our lives, and I think a lot of us realize that we were overworked and underpaid, underappreciated, and I think that this gives people the opportunity to kind of you know put themselves in in, in Jade's shoes and and take a break and have a Caribbean summer. <laughs> Did I get there? Yeah, I, I think it's really it's really important to kind of you know self care is kind of a hot button issue. It's it's a key phrase these days, and um, you know she 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 goes on this trip and and learns that she needs to kind of take care of herself a little bit more. Her own happiness is really ultimately most important, and and at the end of the day, you know um, our memories is what keeps us uh, keeps us alive. You know, at the end of the day. I agree. It's a good way to put it. All right, next question. There are so many fun move moments in this movie, like how we got to cook jambalaya together and go dancing. Oh, yeah. Are there any fun behind the scenes stories we can share? I have a few. We have, yeah. actually have one posted on our Instagrams with your cooking in the kitchen, like in between, um, in between yeah. scenes. And that was a really nice treat for all of us on set that day. We all got to taste that. Um, and I would say that another favorite scene was the dancing scene. That was such a big party. I just felt like we were all there partying and hanging out and it was less work than it was like, I just hadn't been out dancing in a while. So it was fun to get my groove on. <laughs> Most definitely. So what she was referring to is that we have a scene where we're cooking, we're cooking in the movie. And uh, once we finished that scene, we're moving on to, to another one um, outside, but there was still all these active ingredients. I'm a chef as well. I like to cook. So there was shrimp and there was onions and all types of vegetables and stuff like that. And I was like, 
can I use these? Can I pick these? And Prop Master was like, yeah, I don't see why not. So I cooked for the cast and crew in between setups and made some uh, um, some orange buttered shrimp with curry and some mixed vegetables and ratatouille and stuff like that. So that, that was really cool. And then um, the dance scene, we have this um, this big celebration in the movie and we had never rehearsed it or anything like that. So the first take was like a live take and I found out Heather, Heather Hammonds could dance a little booty off. I was very <laughs> pleasantly surprised. It was, it was shocking. It was fun. We had, you know, just great chemistry. It was really fun. Um, and, uh, you know, it turned into like a big party day, like, like she said, but we also had a day where we got to shoot at a very distinct, um, private location, um, that was breathtaking and beautiful and you'll see it in the movie. So I don't want to give it away, but, um, you know, we got an opportunity to really just, you know, at a point I just kind of looked around and I, you know, I looked at Heather and I was like, this is our job. Like, it was so it was so beautiful. It was, it was an Im immaculate day and I'll, I'll probably never forget it. One of the best. Uh, shooting days I've ever had. Absolutely. Um, I agree with all of that. Mm -hmm. I also am a chef. We're both certified chefs, which is really funny. So when you mm -hmm. cooked, I was tasting with a very discerning palate. And I will oh, you say... Tell me. You didn't tell me this. <laughs> it was great. And I will report that it was lovely. It was very yummy. I was very impressed. Nice. All right. So... Jade gets to experience island life firsthand from driving around in golf carts and eating at a Lolo with Ford to even learning about a goat beauty pageant. Did we each have a favorite tradition? Hmm. What was your favorite tradition? Did we each have a favorite tradition as it pertains to? Um, some island life things like eating at a Lolo and the goat beauty pageant. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh <laughs> You know what? My favorite tradition, and, and this is a stretch, but I love the idea that nobody locks their doors really there. Um, you know, I always like to say that I think the 90s kids had the, the last like great childhood um, where it was like still pretty, pretty safe. You know, not, not to say I mean, bad things have always been happening in the world, but um, to know that like everybody knows their neighbor um, in this in this community kind of was reminiscent of me. I grew up in, in Miami in a very like Caribbean community. My family's Haitian and Dominican and all of our neighbors were, you know, it was just a huge melting pot and everybody looked out for each other. And so I think like something that was really cool in one of the scenes is like, you know, it's Maceo Island. Like nobody locks their doors. Of course, everybody's keys under the mat. You know what I mean? Um, so that, that was a, a cool, like, you know, aspect of the culture and, and tradition. Of it. I would say my tradition was part of their everyday life where they're just hanging out on the beach and that's where they live. And everybody else in the world wants to come there for a vacation and they're just sitting in their backyards. And it's no wonder that these, um, you know, the local people have very happy, simple lives. It's just easy living and they really know how to enjoy it. And that's just being with family and being out in the sun and on the beach. So that's my favorite tradition. I want to live in a place where I just, my backyard is the beach and, you know, it's a permanent vacation. Absolutely. Um, Jade, let's see. Oh, viewers are excited to see us in a Hallmark movie together. How was it working on set with each other and the rest of the cast members? I was going to say something really like sarcastic and funny and negative, but I, can't. Heather, you're, you're the best. I actually got this question this morning from somebody. I was up at like 4 a.m. reading scripts. Um, you're actually my goddaughter's favorite actress, by the way. She freaked out when she found me working with you. But, um, you know, I've, I've been blessed to work a lot and I've been blessed to have, you know, a lot of, you know, love interests and stuff and projects. But I told you this in person. Um, it was an absolute pleasure coming to work every day and knowing that we could just play and we could joke. Could just really like explore and then be offset. So that was one of the most refreshing things. Um, I am actively like itching for an opportunity to, to work with you again in a, in a longer, you know, more long form capacity. And now that your show is done, we might, <laughs> might try to figure out how to do that. But um, yeah, it was, it was one of the best working experiences um, I've ever had. Honestly, my, my best love interest and in, if any of, uh, my past ones, here's this. You guys are great too, but sorry, this is the best for you. 
Wow. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. My goodness. I could follow that up with repeating all of those things about you. But I will say the one thing that always stood out about working with you is how funny you are. And even in the moments where, you know, things are hot and sticky on sweat and we're behind and, you know, I, I feel like you and I always found a way to laugh, to lighten the mood. And that's what it's all about when you're working 14 hours with someone. You really just, you want to be able to make it fun. And I always felt that with you. We had a blast. And so thank you for, you know, always helping us keep our heads on straight and eye on the prize. And I would absolutely love to do it again. Same, same. Heck yeah. All right. And our next question is, we had the opportunity to shoot at some beautiful locations filming Caribbean Summer. Without giving any spoilers, do we each have a favorite scene that we can't wait to, for the viewers to see? Heather. Um, <laughs> I, I love where Jade and Ford meet. I think for me that just so sets up their relationship dynamic, these two polar opposite personalities flung together by twist of fate and um, that really keeps the comedy going throughout the whole movie. You know, they are both a fish out of water and um, they watching them kind of intertwine their lives and find common ground is really sweet. Definitely. Um, I kind of touched on it earlier, but there was a, a place that can only be described as heaven on earth. And we got to have a cool, adventurous sort of uh, excursion if you will. Um, I like speed. I'm a speed demon. So it was fun getting to do something fun and speed oriented with Heather in, in, in this beautiful setting. Uh, Belize is one of the most, it's the most beautiful place I've ever filmed actually. I put my life in your hands many times in the golf cart and and the day you're talking about as well. And look, I made it back to the States. But did you die? Time. But did you die? <laughs> right, but did you die? Mm -hmm. oh. All right, to wrap up our social live, we have a rapid fire game of this or that featuring some activities inspired by Caribbean summer and summer nights. We can each pick the option that we like best. So yeah. would you rather spend the evening cooking jambalaya or baking Johnny cakes? I'm gonna say baking Johnny cakes. Jambalaya. Jambalaya? Jambalaya. All right, fine. Uh, go dancing at a yacht club or go sailing? Dancing on a yacht. I agree with that one. Dancing all day. Enjoy a swim in the ocean or lay out by the beach? Swim in the ocean. I'll lay by the beach. Like to just lay in the sun and bake. All right. Watch a sunset or get a relaxing <laughs> massage. Massage. <laughs> I'll say massage as well. One of the highlights. All right. Take a vacation in the Caribbean or visit a lively city. Caribbean, for sure. Vacation in the Caribbean, yeah. Go a day without cell phones or... Turn it off for an evening. Um, isn't that kind of the same? Well, yeah. I, well, I, I guess go a whole day without cell phones or turn it off for an evening. A uh, whole day without the phone. I'll go a whole day without the phone as well. I'm quite opposite than my care, Jade. I love it when I find my phone and it's not ringing. And, uh, I love yeah. it when my phone dies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, and our very last one, indulge in a sweet dessert or spicy cuisine? Sweet dessert. I'm a sugar monster. Mm. That's a tough one because I'm just a foodie for it all, but I'll say maybe spicy cuisine. Get the kicks going. Sure. All right, so that is the last of our questions. Thank you so much, Sir Darius, for um, all of your fun input. We can't wait for you guys to watch the premiere of our new original movie, Caribbean Summer. You can tune in Saturday, June 11th at 8, 7 Central, only on the Hallmark Channel. And yeah, you can sing along while you, while you watch using hashtag Caribbean Summer. Yeah, baby. Are we going to watch it together, Heather? 
Come on, let's do it. Thank you guys. On Twitter, I'll have to stream you. We're not even in the same state. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Tis the beauty of the internet. We'll see you guys there. Take care. All right. Take care.